I have here the iPhone SE3, the 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Now after the setup is complete, you can go ahead and install your own SIM card or you can look in the link below and I'll show you how to install the SIM card after the setup is complete. First thing is go ahead and turn the phone on. You can press and hold the power button until it turns on and then once you're on the screen here, tap on the home button down here and we're going to choose our language here. So I'm going to go with English. Select your country or region. I'm going to go with the United States right here. Now under quick start here it says bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this iPhone manually, okay? So if you have a current iPhone or iPad, you can use that to sign in and set up or you can do everything manually, okay? I'm going to go with the clean slate here. I'm going to set up everything manually. Choose your Wi-Fi. So let me get my Wi-Fi here, put in my password. After you put your password in, you can tap on join up there or down here. Data and privacy, we're going to tap on continue right here. Touch ID, basically a fingerprint password. You can set this up or you can go ahead and set it up later and set it up later or never do it, okay? I'm going to go ahead and set mine up now, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue right there. Now the finger I want to use is my thumb here, so I'm going to go ahead and put my finger on the home button here. Off, on, off, on, and just keep on going until the red fills up there. I can feel it vibrate, vibrate it, vibrate it, right, okay. So now we want to adjust our grip, okay? Keep going to capture the edges of your fingerprint. So I'm going to tap on continue, and now I'm going to go for the edges of my finger here. So I'm going to keep on going all over the edges. Okay, it's complete. I'm going to tap on continue right there. Now I have to create a passcode for myself in case my finger's not available or maybe it's not working. So, okay, so once you put it in the first time, you need to reconfirm again. All right, I just reconfirmed. So for me, I get Activate Cellular Plan. I have a T-Mobile, which is a carrier here in the United States. So they're asking me for my wireless number, my phone number, as well as my account PIN. You can do that now. If you're using T-Mobile, or you can go ahead and not now. Okay, I'm gonna go not now. I don't remember my PIN. You can always do that later as well. Apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPhone, okay? So you can go ahead and uh, restore. If you have a I, iCloud backup, you can restore from a Mac or a PC, a Windows computer, or you can transfer directly from iPhone, or you can move data from an Android phone or Android tablet, or you can go down here where it says don't transfer apps and data. I'm going to go with the last one here. I want a clean slate on this iPhone. Now it's asking for an Apple ID. So go ahead and put your Apple ID email address in, or if you forgot it, you can tap down here. Also, if you don't want to do this now, you can do it later as well. So what you can do is, it says uh, forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. You can tap on this. I had do I do have an Apple ID, but I don't remember my password, so I'll set this up later. So I'm, for me, I'm just gonna go set up later in settings. I'll worry about that later. And I'm gonna tap on don't use right there. Condition and terms, go ahead and redo that. If you agree, go ahead and tap on agree up here to proceed. Keep your iPhone up to date. We're going to tap on continue. iMessage and FaceTime. People can contact you in all your devices, all your iPads and all of your um, iPhones with iMessage and FaceTime using your phone number and email address. So if you want to do that, click on continue for me. I'm going to click on not now and never set it up because I don't like other my other phones and iPads all ringing at the same time. Enable location services. That's up to you. You can disable or you can enable. I'm fine with going and enabling it. Here is Siri here. You can go ahead and set up later in the settings or set it up later and just click down here and never set it up or you can go ahead and set it up. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to tap on continue there and I'm going to use one of these voices. I'm Siri. Choose the... Hi, I'm Siri. Hi. Um, hi. I'm Siri. Hi. I'm Siri. Hi. I'm Siri. I'll use number four Choose for myself. You'd like Choose for use. me down here. You... Hi. I'm Siri. Oops. Choose the voice you'd like. Hi, Sorry. I'll I'm choose number Siri. four and I'll Choose tap on next. Like me to use. Hey Siri. 
Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, there you go. Siri is ready. Tap on continue there. You can press and hold the button to talk to Siri anytime. Improve Siri and dictation. You can go ahead and share your audio recordings or you can go not now. I'm going to go with not now and never go ahead and set that up. Screen time. You can go ahead and get weekly reports on your screen time. You can tap on continue if you want to do that. For me, I don't want to go ahead and I don't need the screen time on to tap down here, set up later in settings. And for me, I'm never going to set it up. Okay. Phone analytics, go ahead and read through that. And it's optional. You can share with Apple, you can don't share. It doesn't matter. For me, I'll just go ahead and share with Apple. App analytics, read through that. You can share with app developers or don't share. It's optional, okay? I'm fine with sharing with app developers. Appearance, do you want light mode or do you want this dark mode? Okay, most of you guys are going to go with this dark mode here. Same as me. I'm going to tap on continue. Display, zoom. Do you want standard or do you want zoomed? Make things a little bit bigger so you can see there I'm fine with the I, I'm gonna stay with zoom this time usually I go with standard but I'll continue you can always change that later as well step on get started right there and voila we are business pretty simple if you want to know how to insert the uh, sim card go ahead and look in the description below okay